Assuming you've got the negative perceptions under control, the next step is to give your online profile a professional makeover. Don't just put lipstick on. Be sure to make your profile complete. Especially in a down economy, it's critical that your words very clearly convey all the skills that you currently have and how they can benefit the organization. Highlight all of your successes, not just the ones that are included on your current resume. Include all companies you've worked for, all the volunteer and community organizations or projects you've been involved with, all of your education, and any awards you've received. You should also include information that wouldn't normally be listed on a resume, such as interests, hobbies, and other information related to life outside of work. As you write your profiles, be sure to communicate authentically at all times. For me, this means using I or me statements in short sentences, being naturally conversational, casual, and sincere, using appropriate humor, and being specific, descriptive, and complete. It's important to share who you are in your own words, and I encourage you to provide glimpses into your life outside of work. On all your profiles, be sure to include a variety of common words and phrases that might be used when searching for someone like you. This will boost your chances that your profile will be found. You might even use Google's keyword tool to learn the alternative words to sprinkle throughout your profile. On LinkedIn, be sure to put these in the specialties box and in your summary. You'll also want to be sure to include links to your personal website or blog, or any blog that you've contributed to, and to your Twitter profile. If the profile allows, create a vanity URL so that's easy to give your profile link to other people. You might even include your LinkedIn or your Zing profile URL in the contact section of your resume or on your networking business card. Keep in mind that a profile is not a resume, although I've heard people say that it is. A profile is less formal and should reflect your personality. It should reflect your voice. You can enhance your profile by including documents, presentations, videos. For example, you can include an awesome slide presentation that you created or samples of your writing. Or maybe you'll want to include a video that includes highlights of your skills, your abilities, or maybe a video interview with one of your references. Use the flexibility of the format to creatively represent yourself. Just keep in mind that employers may not review everything that you post. Finally, sometimes the best way to improve your own profile is to look at some great examples. I'll include some links on interviewextras.com. Be sure to review every detail on your profile and make sure that you're consistent across the different profiles. Oh, and don't forget, like a resume or a CV, the spelling and the grammar on your profile needs to be 100% correct. If you're a non-native speaker, consider asking for help to ensure that the profile is without mistakes. Finally, including a professional profile picture is also important. Choose a headshot photo that clearly shows your entire face, your shoulders, and has nothing distracting in the background. You might even consider hiring a professional or at least finding someone who's skilled in photography. Be sure to dress professionally and remember to smile genuinely. Choose a photo that makes you look approachable, dependable, likable, trustworthy, and confident. And be sure to use this photo consistently across the profiles to reinforce your online brand. Once you've created your profiles, you'll want to keep them fresh. To do so, you should make regular updates. If you're serious about building your visibility, you'll need at least one or two updates a day. With many networks, simple updates cause your profile to be included in a broadcast email to your entire network, and that helps to keep your name at the top of mind. Don't forget to consider using automated tools such as Ping FM, FriendFeed, TweetLater, Shareaholic, and TweetDeck to help facilitate this process. If you're unemployed, You'll want to use your profile status to specifically indicate what positions you are seeking. In addition, you'll want to link to articles you've written, interesting videos, yours or somebody else's, or even your favorite podcast, hint, hint. You can also update your status with motivational quotes, interesting observations, or by reposting what somebody else has written or just said. Just be sure to give the right credit. Remember, you'll want to remain professional, relevant, and consistent. Use your status and updates to remain on the radar. Another great way to boost your credibility and visibility is to join groups that relate to your profession and to your hobbies. Participate in these groups by asking and answering questions. 
Don't want to display that you're part of the Raggedy Ann Collectors Group? Don't worry, you can select which display on your profile. You can also join professional online conversations. Consider whom you want to meet and start commenting. For example, I wanted to meet an event planner, so I commented on his blog, he read my comment, then on his own initiative he reviewed my website and connected with me on Twitter. By participating in the community, you're building a reputation so that when the opportunity does become available, you'll be the first person people think of. Contributing or commenting on someone else's blog will also make that person more likely to help you when you need it. They'll feel comfortable providing you assistance because you've already contributed. The idea is to make the investment before you need to make a withdrawal. Another method to enter a conversation and build a perception of expertise is to answer industry-related questions via LinkedIn answers. On LinkedIn, you can search for posted questions using keywords, or you can set up an RSS feed for specific question categories. When you find relevant questions or interesting posts, respond and include a link to your website, your job search blog, or an article you wrote. As you begin to regularly and intelligently share your comments, your voice will be heard and you will stand out. And when a recruiter Googles you, he or she will find your insightful comments and then click the link to your profile, which now, based on my tips, will contain even more great information about you.